My name is Allison Keith. I am from Houston, Texas. I've been voice acting actually with ADV for almost nine years, since 1995. I um, actually started when I was really young in terms of, of wanting to be an actor. I don't remember not wanting to be. So, but when I started professionally was about sixth grade um, doing musical theater here in Houston with a company called Theater Under the Stars. And I did Annie um, with Joanne Worley and Peter Pan with Kathy Rigby and used to babysit her kids and thought I was somebody, you know. And uh, started doing that all through high school. And then I w did Opryland and all the theme park track. And um, so it was mainly musical theater. And then when I was um, finishing school here in Houston before I did leave to go to New York, <clears throat> I met a friend of mine, Amanda Winley, and we were in a comedy troupe, and she had been uh, working with ADV and, and recommended I come, and, and that was during college, and did that for about four years before I moved to New York. In New York, I was still basically on, on the live theater track for a while. I did a couple of off-Broadway shows and um, a couple of workshops that were, you know, hopefully going to Broadway. Um, so it was really interesting to work on projects from the ground up. I really, you know, and seeing even in theater how technical things can get. Um, then I worked, um, I did a couple of voiceover uh, stuff mainstream, had a cartoon on Cartoon Network uh, for a short time um, called Nikki, and it was with uh, the producers of Blue's Clues. They had a new cartoon coming out, and so that was a neat neat deal to take it into mainstream animation as opposed to just anime and learned a lot more about that as opposed from dubbing working from the ground up on that so did some more voiceover things and then commercial wise I I was the almost girl <laughs> I was the almost girl for about four years and <laughs> never once booked one but um, I was a professional auditioner let's put it I came back to Houston um, in 2001 with my husband of seven years almost. Um, it, it was ironic. It was right after September 11th, but it had absolutely nothing to do with September 11th. Um, we just realized, I, th I think the longer I was in New York and maybe even the closer I was to getting bigger projects, um, I realized how much <laughs> I would rather, uh, actually, quite frankly, how much I enjoyed the voiceover world more than any other genre. Um, and that there was work here at home, which Houston is my home, and, you know, craving a house and craving babies and, you know, still wanting to be a normal person as long as, you know, I was able to go and experience New York. And I was in L.A. for a while also throughout that time and had some close calls. Um, and But, you know, I think moving back home was just family and... and uh, always knowing that we wanted to come back here. It was just time, and I, I couldn't be happier. So coming home to our family, we decided to begin our own. And we just recently did with um, our adorable son named Noah, and uh, he's just a hunk of burning love. That's all I can say, just a big old chunk, and he's a big one. And uh, But it's just more for the loving. So he uh, he's precious. He's the most precious thing, and I'm actually teaching now, which of course I swore I'd never do. You know, I'm an actor. I'm not a teacher, and and I absolutely love every part of that. It's so funny who you think you're gonna be, and you know, tell yourself what you won't ever do, and you just have no idea how happy other things can make you. Along with still being able to be an actor, which I just I feel like I feel like a queen in terms of being able to do what I love to do on all on all aspects, especially being a mama. My very first role with ADV, I think, was in a show called Super Atragon. And it was, you know, like, blip, and that was my role. And I was real proud, <laughs> real excited about it. But um, after that, I think my first major role was uh, Misato, of course, in, in uh, Evangelion. And uh, then my, one of my favorite roles, which I've, I've talked about before, um, is Sakura Yamazaki um, from Blue Seed. I just enjoyed, she was this crazy, like, wild ghostbuster gal. And um, did that, and oh my goodness. Um, 
I love doing Meryl. My recent role that I really, really enjoyed and I loved the show was a Rune Soldier. And I played a, the role of Meryl. That was a lot of fun. Um, I've done Burn Up Excess, Golden Boy. Those were some, those were some, those were some old shows. It turns of jogging my memory here. Um, and just everything that, that's been coming up lately. I've, I've Full Metal Panic, I enjoyed working on that show. And uh, Gravion, we just did. That, that's probably one of the most recent ones I just finished. Actually, after, after listing those shows, Nuku Nuku was one of the first shows that I did after living in New York and being away from ADV for about four years, uh, right when I came back. And uh, it was kind of a really fun uh, character to come back into working with David Williams, I believe, in the beginning, and uh, uh, just getting my feet wet. So it's kind of one of those shows that, that oh, you know, I'd been away for a while. You know, how do I do this? And, you know, putting the gloves and the boots back on and, you know, and that was, <clears throat> it was really a, a, an awesome opportunity to get to play her to get me back into the, the swing of things. So, and, and what I really love about Nuku Nuku is that it was, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the first shows that, that I really believe is really kid friendly and can be kid friendly, um, which is borderline more of the mainstream type of anime as opposed to, you know, all the deep heady things that, that um, a lot of anime is. I think people either are going to really like it or really not because, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, tongue in cheek and sugar and spice and everything nice, but um, it's kind of a neat, a neat difference for me. When I began uh, Nuku Nuku, I think it was almost two years ago, and uh, her character has actually gone through quite a few changes. I think she was a little bit younger uh, from the very beginning when she was introduced, and she's kind of morphed into, you know, a wise cat gal, if you will. And, uh, but yeah, it started, there's been three different, I believe, three different versions of her, and then she has her evil twin sister that comes in to play. So it's been, it's been a fun, exciting, changing kind of thing. Being in the booth here in, in uh, ADV has, has become a whirlwind of change for myself, and I think a lot of the actors that were here in the, in the, in the beginning, <laughs> AD, ADV. And uh, so I think, I think what they've done to these studios and how unbelievable the talent has been that they've hired for the engineering and the producing, it, it's, it's truly, LA has nothing on us. And, I, and I'm not saying that I know LA, but I, but I have worked out there, and being in the booth is so exciting because uh, the pace in which I've started, you know, started with here, and just the amount of growth the company has done. I mean, you get in and you get out, and you, and, you know, and when you're there, you have time to finagle, and and you have people that expect you to actually act, which is really a nice, a nice thing, and. Uh, it's great. I, 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 when I moved home in 2001, there was two, three studios more than there were when I was, there was only one originally when I left in 97. And oh my gosh, they've just, this company is just awesome.